Good morning everybody. This is Mel Soul and today is Monday the 16th of January 2017. So I'm back from my Mexico travels and we're back to doing our daily blogs. Monday is Monday Rewind where we talk about everything that happened in the previous week in the golfing world. First up, Sony Open in Hawaii. Justin Thomas went crazy. Started the round with a 59, broke the scoring record for two rounds, broke the scoring record for three rounds, and then broke the scoring record for four rounds that stood for, I don't know how many years, but a long, long time. So congratulations to Justin. He's hot, 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 played extremely well. Um, exciting to see him shoot that 59 in the opening round, playing with his pals, Gordon Spieth. And... Um, in the same tournament, um, Shez Reevy shot a 61 with a hole-in-one on 17. And um, I think the other guy was Kevin Kistner. Kevin Kistner uh, shot 60, almost. He had a putt on the 18th green for 59 as well. So, you know, under those circumstances, we've got to believe that the course was playing pretty easy when you have a 59, a 60, and a 61 in the field. And uh, so low scoring, but congratulations to Justin Thomas. On the European tour, my home country's Open, the South African Open, played at Glendower Golf Club, one of my favorite courses in the country. And it was won by Graham Storm in a playoff with Rory McIlroy. And you know, Rory had back injuries and it seems like his back bothered him while he was playing. But I'm so pleased to see Graham Storm get a win. He hasn't won since uh, I think it was about five years ago in the Portuguese Open was the last time he won. And last year he missed getting his tour card by a hundred euro. I mean, just a nose. He missed it. Then in the final series, Patrick Reed pulled out. And so he got bumped up one and he got in his European tour card for the season. He starts the season off with a win. Congratulations to Graham Storm. Rory, your back gets better. We love one. Uh, Rory lost in a playoff bogeying the 18th hole. Graham Storm uh, had about a 30, 35 foot putt for birdie on the last. It just looked out and even Rory had to give him a big smile and say, Great putt. Another sport, are you going to get your opponent congratulating you on a shot? To finish, a little bit of honest. This teacher's ever responsible and the founder of the European Tour. He was the guy that was behind the movement to not only get the European Tour going in England, but then across into Europe and to where it is today, we have to say thank you to John Jacobs. He was 91, so he had a, a very good life, taught a lot of golfers, had a, had a very different idea in his teaching methods. Uh, he very seldom looked at the golf swing. He only looked at ball flight. And then he made the adjustments based on ball flight and not on the swing. Uh, a lot of teachers would not agree with that, but his results certainly proved that he knew what he was talking about. So my condolences to the John Jacobs family. Uh, next week, uh, we'll be back. Um, Tuesday is going to be Troubleshot Tuesday. So watch for that tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Love ya.